All right, guys, Shoddy T here with another update video. And this one is going to be pretty exciting. I haven't read through all the updates. I just saw the very first one. And I said, that is enough for me to talk about um, this. But before I do that, just want to get you guys, let you guys a quick update, let you know. Zombie Invasion is back. So make sure you clear those grounds so you can go ahead and get those. Um and go ahead and get those um, zombie bosses for more rewards. I'm probably not going to go too active at that. There are several reasons why some of them are uh, for other reasons. But also, yeah, we might have a war coming up on our hands. But anyway, new feature, season related. So I believe this is related to this season. So it might not be applicable to everyone. Tesla's exclusive new weapon is coming soon. It doesn't say when, so that's the teaser there. Activities related to this will gradually become available as the server season progresses. So that is such a tease, but it's going to come eventually. All right. And let's see. Season related war day will now be adjusted from server time Saturday, Sunday, to only Saturday. Attacks on resource tiles and other war zones are now prohibited on non-war days. Well, that's great. Um, so now we can just, so basically on enemy buster days, we can not worry about the other opponent getting cheap points so they can just fight against their own opponent that they're going against, okay? All right, instead of just attacking anyone, because last Enemy Buster, we just had people from other servers that was facing someone else in our server attacking us for some reason on resource tiles. Now, of course, attacking bases is still still fair game. So be shielded if you're not going to participate, because you, got, you may have other people, not just your opponent, going after you. All right, anyway, outpost repairs will now include a second confirmation uh, pop-up. After repair, half the durability will be stored by default and related notifications will be published in the Alliance chat channel. All right, so I guess if you get zeroed or whatever, you finally can, it'll let, that's going to that's gonna flood the Alliance chat if, if it's what I'm thinking. The attribute viewing panel at the headquarters will now display technology research related to season profession specialization. Okay, just adds one more thing to look at. All right, we've improved the visual style of several buildings inside the base. Um, did I see anything? I didn't notice anything when I first logged in. Let me see. Yeah, nothing stands out at the moment. So I don't see anything too crazy. All right, let's go back. All right, let's scroll down some more. Enhance the information displayed when the zombie siege begins. So I guess we'll see that when it when we qualify for it. And okay, so we start start with a banger and end with a banger. So now the rewards for the code eighty seven thirty nine sixty four series of event will upgrade as the server progresses good because some of these rewards are kind of outdated anyway so hopefully they can retroactively give us compensation for what we've already accomplished um if they're going to increase those rewards and just give us the difference of the upgrades all right uh and those are by the way those are the bosses when you face the butcher the Frankenstein and the Bulldog in the middle of the field, just so you know, if you didn't know what that was. All right, and then fixes, season related, so just for the season here, uh, Crimson Plague, resolve the issue where season specific buildings were invisible in the base and cross war zone scenarios, okay? And correct the bug where DK Ray was incorrectly lowering unit levels in some instances. I don't know what a DK Ray is. So I guess we have to get further into that to find that out. All right. So there we go. So as usual, we get your rewards compensation. And we'll go ahead and collect that. So yeah, guys. Tesla. Ooh, that's going to be nice. 
And the thing is, I've already start. I don't know if the exclusive weapon has to do with this. Actually, I can promote him here. Well, I can. I'm going to go in. I can do that. But I'm not going to take him to the first bullet chamber because I need to save my blueprints for Kimberly. But, yeah, so this guy's going to finally get some work. So, Kimberly, you're going to have company with exclusive weapons. So, anything you can do, I can do, too. Wow. All right. Anyway, guys, what do you guys think about that update? And, again, that's season-related. And I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it'll stay there once the season is over. Same thing with Kimberly and same thing with Mason being a um, ultra-rare champ. For those that have finished Crimson Plague, let me know if the Mason thing stays permanent after Crimson Plague. But anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification.